Our next topic is circle division. Look at this figure. Here, circle is divided into four equal parts and each part is of 90 degree. Here, the circle is divided into six equal parts and each part is of 60 degree. And here, circle is divided into eight equal parts and each part is of 45 degree each. From this, we can conclude that when the number of equal parts increases, the size of each part decreases. Look into the figures. In the first figure, the number of equal part is 4 and the size is 90 degree. But in the second figure, when the, si when the number of equal part increases to 6, the size decreases to 60 degree. Same way in the last figure when the number of equal part increases to 8 the size decreases to how much? 45 degree. Note when number of equal parts increases size of the ankle decreases. See this figure. We can divide a circle like this into 360 equal parts. If a circle is divided into 360 equal parts, each part is of 1 degree each. That means each angle is of 1 degree each. And if it is 2 degree each, we get 180 equal parts. Example, if we want to divide a circle into 180 equal parts, we should divide 360, the total number of parts, 360 by 180 to get the measure of angle that we have to draw. Example, 360 by 180, that is equal to 2 degree each. One more example I will sing. When we want to divide a circle into 5 equal parts, we have to divide 360 by 5. That is, 360 divided by 5 is equal to 75. So, when we draw a circle, we have to divide the circle with 72 degree each. So, we will get 5 equal parts. Here we are going to divide the circle into 5 equal parts. We find it out how many degree each? Yes, 72 degree each. So, first you have to draw a circle. Mark the center of the circle. Then draw a line from the center to the circle. Then by using the protractor, you can mark 72 degree. See? Keep the midpoint of the protractor over the center of the circle and then mark 72 degree. Where comes 72? Here comes 72. Okay. From the center you join, you draw a line to the circle. Again adjust the protractor. Okay. Again mark 72 degree. See. Here comes 72. Join the center to the circle. Again, adjust the protractor and mark 72 degrees. See, here is the 72. You can join from the center to the Circle. Likewise, continue this process till you reach the starting point. See, here 72 degree is here. This is how you have to Divide the circle into 5 equal parts. Here, each part is of 72 degree each. And if we join all the lines, we will get a figure like this. Can anyone say the name of this figure? Yes, it is a regular pentagon.